In this video, you can see him offering water to the sun. It is a common practice in India to offer water to the sun. But wait, does the sun really need water from you? Let's look into it. Have you ever wondered, if you travel across the planet within a few days, the body changes its clock according to the country's sunrise and sunset. So it's obvious that our bodies are connected with the sun. Just like plants depend on sunlight for photosynthesis, our bodies also absorb light and convert it into light. You may already know, white light splits into seven colors when it passes through water just like in a rainbow. When this minute ray of color is absorbed by the body, it has the capability to treat certain mental and physical health conditions. And this is known as color therapy. We can trace this form of therapy back to the ancient Egyptians. They worshipped the sun and believed shining the rays of the sun through colored crystals would penetrate the body in specific locations and heal ailments. Since ancient times, it is very common in India to offer water to the sun. We all know the mighty sun doesn't need water from us. Our rishis and munis consciously use the word argya or offering to this practice and set proper guidelines to do so. They say that to do surya argya, fill a copper vessel with water. Copper is a highly conductive material and water is known to be positively energized when in copper. The best time to offer water to the sun is early in the morning while the sun is rising. You can offer water till one hour after the sun has risen. Stand facing the sun and slowly pour the water from a height. Keep your eyes open to look at the rays falling into the water. You can chant Surya Mantra while pouring the water or if you don't know any mantra, you can simply chant Aam. Your sense of offering generates a certain emotion and the vibrations of the mantra will naturally help to stimulate your energy channels or chakras. As the light passes through the water, it falls on the chakra starting from the point between your eyebrows all the way down, thereby giving us tremendous energy and well-being throughout the day. So the next time you see someone offering water to the sun, know that it is not just a religious ritual, but there is a deep scientific understanding to it. Do you do Surya Argya? Let us know in the comments below and follow Rishika and Ankit for more such videos.